moving on to toxic relationships basically generally speaking the opposite of that we know that toxic relationships are ones where you're constantly being ridiculed or put down you don't feel supported you can't really communicate at all like you've tried it's not that you haven't tried you've tried and it's not working it's just not working it's like you've you've tried to in different ways you've cried about it you've fought about it you've talked about it and you're just not being heard they're not trying to hear you there's a difference they're actually not trying to hear you they shut you down they say everything in the world that they want to say and you feel within yourself that you're not being heard or maybe they're saying that they understand but they just you know there's never any meeting ground it's always well i'm your i'm right and you feel you're right so you know it is what it is I don't think people understand how important it is to date your significant other. We have mar married couples out here who once you get married, life gets in the way, or even if you're not married yet, um, but you've been together for a long time, it's almost like people don't realize that we have a honeymoon phase. Even if it's just, you know, you're dating, you could be in high school, you're in this relationship, and for the first three to six months, everything's amazing because you're still getting to know each other, you got these butterflies in your stomach and you can't eat, you can't sleep. And everything's great but then it's almost like once you pass that mark people stop trying and it honestly is false advertising you know how many people i could sue right now for false advertising it's not what i signed up for you are not who i fell in love with and if this is your true you we wouldn't have been together right now and this is a very very common thing like how many times have you heard please leave a comment down below if you've either heard somebody say this to you or somebody else um, or you've said it yourself that, you know, you weren't like this in the beginning. This is not how it was in the beginning. In the beginning, you were nice to me. In the beginning, you used to take me out. In the beginning, we used to be on the phone till seven o'clock in the morning, just, you know, talking about nothing and just, you know, getting to know each other. And now you don't pay attention to me. We don't talk as much. We don't go out. We don't do this. We don't do that. Why? It's just like a job interview. When you go, you put on your best clothes and your best behavior, right? You sell yourself. I do this, I'm like this, oh man, like I'm sorry you went through this experience with the previous person, but I'm not like that and I'm different and I'm this and I'm that. And you know, you look great on paper and you're you're selling it to me. I'm all right, I'm like, cool, fine, we'll give you a shot, we'll do this. And then for the first three months of a job, what happens or maybe six months, you're on, you're on probation. So you're still on your P's and Q's. You're putting on your best behavior. You're walking in with your best outfits. And then all of a sudden, probation time's over and you're like, all right, cool, I got the job. I got the job. And then they just stop trying. They show up late if they show up at all, okay? They don't put on their best outfits anymore. And all the things that they were saying, they, they stop backing it up. Why? Because they don't need to try anymore. They already have the job. They already have you. So they, don't, they, don't, they get lazy. They don't need to try anymore. So when things like that happen, you can do one of two things. You can go back to the beginning of love and listen, communicate and listen. Maybe there's something going on with them. Maybe it had nothing to do with you. Maybe they feel unfulfilled. Now, listening and observation at this point go hand in hand. So you start to observe, okay, well, what are the things that I was doing or saying to maybe trigger some of these things? And now I'm not saying to place blame on yourself or that person, but again, this is where listening comes in. And then you start to observe. Maybe yesterday when, you know, I walked in the house and I didn't hug and kiss you the way I used to, I should have paid attention to that. Maybe you were having a bad day and I told you it was just all about myself because I was having a great day and I didn't observe, I didn't realize that, you know, you were having a crappy ass day and I played a role in that at that point. Then you go to V, you, you remember that if this is something that you value, this relationship and this person that you value, you're going to do something about it. Okay. And then E, the expectations. And we talked about that. So going forward, if you are in a relationship, and again, you can apply this to any kind of relationship, but it's not to be romantic. But if you are in a relationship and you apply the love exercise or the love acronym, and you get through these things, honestly, sometimes it takes a lot more than that. It takes a lot of work. I'm gonna say this. If it gets to the point where you guys have tried everything and you've maybe you've been together for a while, maybe it's still new and it's just not working, it's okay. It doesn't mean you failed. It doesn't mean that you guys still can't be friends. Some people realize that we're the greatest friends. We're so good as friends. We get along 
so well. Relationships are just not for everybody and not everybody's compatible. So maybe it's just time to let it go. And maybe, I know a lot of people don't believe in breaks, but maybe not necessarily a break, but maybe you just need space. Maybe you need to gather your thoughts. Maybe you need some time to figure out what you want and if this is what you want. It's amazing if the first person that you end up with or, or the first relationship that real solid relationship that you have is one that lasts forever but that's not always the case it's, it's ideal but it's called an ideal for a reason it's not always realistic and not the, the first person unfortunately that you may even be intimate with may not be the person you end up marrying so don't feel discouraged if it doesn't happen the first second third four fifth six seven eight nine ten time um some of us are still trying and if you're a lot younger and you're watching this video you you may not even find your perfect match um so you're in your 30s or 40s, 50s or 60s. So just be patient with yourself. Be patient with the person that you're with or people that you end up being with. And just keep going until it happens for you. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. And leave a comment down below. It doesn't even have to be on this video necessarily. But going forward, you can always just hit me up on Instagram. You can hit me up on Facebook. You can hit me up on here, YouTube in the comments and let me know how it goes. I've, I'm always happy to hear um, success stories and things like that because it makes me know that what I'm saying and what I'm doing is working. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, share these videos because there are girls out there that probably don't even know this channel exists yet because it's still fairly new and like they can learn a lot from these videos. And don't forget your notifications because again, it will let you know when I've uploaded another video. Until then, ladies hold it down and don't forget to correct your crown. Stay royal.